Hi, this is an introduction to B-Step's Novation Launchpad feature. You can use one or two launch pads to control the sequencer. Click the little wrench button to open the settings menu. Click the pad 1 enable button to enable the first launch pad. Then set the in and out MIDI channel for the launch pad. Launch pads transmit and receive MIDI on channel 1 by default, so if you're not using some kind of MIDI router or something like that, make sure the channel is set to channel 1 and refresh the launch pad. The first two buttons in the top row control B-Step's speed multiplier. You can set B-Step to sync with the incoming clock or to run at half or double speed. There are three display modes for the launch pads. You can access these modes by pressing the session, user 1, and user 2 buttons. Session mode should be the default for one launch pad. User, mo user 1 mode shows the left part of the sequencer, the first eight beats of each bar and user 2 mode shows the right part of the sequencer. Let's start with some steps. These buttons change the chord of the first bar. This will change the tuning of the strings. It'll affect all the steps on all of the strings in the selected bar pattern. Here's a bit of a bluesy progression. With the second and third buttons on the right side, we can increase and decrease the master octave. With the fourth and fifth buttons on the right side, you can increase and decrease the tuning by one half tone per button press. You might not want to do this in the middle of a set though, things might get a little out of key. With the sixth and seventh buttons on the right side, you can change the chord set. That's the set of chords that you can choose when you use the bar chord controls. The chord set editor is explained in another video. Basically, you can design chords that you can tune the strings to and switch back and forth between them using the bar chord knob. Okay, let's go to page two. Click the mixer button. That's the last button in the top row. Page two holds the controls we won't need all that often. The top two buttons adjust the bar octave up or down. This will affect all the steps in the selected bar. With the buttons on the bottom, you can increase the velocity, duration, and the bar repeat for each bar. To decrease, press and hold the round button on the right side of the row and press the button again. Okay, now I'll explain the two launch pad mode. Open the settings menu and enable the second launch pad. Set the MIDI channel. Again, if you're not using a MIDI router or something like that, set the MIDI channel to 1. In the short break, we programmed a blues progression into B-Step by copying the first bar into the next 11 bars and just changed the bar chord knob settings around a bit. When you're using two launch pads, set the left launch pad to user 1 mode and the right launch pad should be set to user 2 mode. This will make the launch pads into one user interface and you'll have access to the whole sequencer. By clicking the bottom row buttons, you can navigate between all your bars. On page 2 you have the saved controls as you do in session mode. With the third and fourth buttons from the left in the top row, you can navigate through all the bars with enabled steps. Hold down the bottom round button on the right side of the launch pad and then press any bar button to put that bar into solo mode. Solo mode keeps the sequencer playing that bar over and over and over again so you can edit it. Release the solo. Thanks for watching. B-Step is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux as a VST plugin. 
Thanks to all the people who helped to develop the sequencer. You can get B-Step on www.monoplugs.com or bstep.monoplugs.com. B-Step will also be available as a standalone application and for the iPad in the second quarter of this year. See you on monoplugs.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>